Now, forecast first on Color 10 News, Ozarks First. It's a soggy start to our Tuesday. We've got rounds of heavy rain moving through. You can see that line stretches all the way as far south and west as eastern Texas. It's coming through Oklahoma, through the Ozarks, and then even extending up into Illinois and Indiana. But notice the line hasn't moved. It's the same line that just keeps putting some rounds of rain, just charging up that line. So we'll see that as we head through uh, the first half of the day today. Uh, we've got heavy rain on a line pretty much parallel to I-44 right now. Some heavy downpours are just east of Joplin around Mount Vernon and Monette. We've also got some of this moderate to heavy rain just south of the uh, Springfield Metro Ozark getting in on some of that heavy rain this morning. And we had a batch come through overnight with heavy rain and impressive lightning. That batch is out, another batch on its way in, and we'll continue to exchange these batches of heavy rain as we head through uh, the morning. Some of these rainfall rates embedded in the red and orange could be at one to two inches per hour. We had that. That happened overnight where we have these green bands. This is the recorded rainfall and the green bands signify some of those one to two inch totals more than that in the yellow and we're going to add on top of this as we head through the day. So flood watch is in effect until seven o'clock tonight for most of the Ozarks. It's on in effect until midnight for Shannon, Howell and Oregon counties where that line kind of stall south and east. The biggest threat for flooding will be near rivers and creeks where those have swollen and kind of overflow their banks. Uh, so if that happens, please turn around, don't drown, don't drive through any flooded roadways, don't walk or swim through them either. Temperatures. Starting out pretty warm this morning. It's 58 degrees in Springfield, and this is the warmest that will be all day. Temperatures will be sliding down today, falling and turning cooler. We're going for 50 degrees by dismissal, upper 40s by dinner time. Uh, again, turning chillier. So take a jacket, uh, take one with a hood too, because we'll have that rain, and then we'll have temperatures turning cooler. Uh, rain chances pretty likely, of course, as we've got these rounds of heavy rain moving through. Uh, we'll see these rain chances taper off this evening and overnight as that rain becomes more scattered to isolate it. Why the heavy rain? Well, the atmosphere is just really soaked. It's got a lot of moisture in it, more than we typically see for this time of March. And think of a sponge. You got all of that water in the sponge and then you squeeze it out and out comes all that water. Well, that's what's happening. The atmosphere is squeezing out everything that it's got and that's why we're seeing these uh, heavy downpours. The severe threat today uh, will be south as that front tries to push south and east. We could get a rogue strong storm or two for our extreme southern county counties in northern Arkansas. That's where we could see some possibly large hail, but for the most part, not expecting severe weather, just that heavy rain and then turning chilly. Hour by hour forecast. You see the reds, oranges, the yellows. That is that heavy rain where we could see again one to two inches of rainfall per hour. That line tries to nudge itself south and east. You see that heavy rain around Mountain Home and West Plains today. Uh, by four o'clock, again, we're still seeing it hug areas south and east of I 44. Notice the temperatures. Four o'clock, it's 49 degrees in Springfield. We could still get in on a couple of spotty showers. Uh, by the evening, we'll see this line try to exit, but a couple of spotty sprinkles are still possible through the overnight hours. By tomorrow, we'll keep the cloud cover. You see tomorrow at 3, uh, we've got mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 50s, and maybe a shower or two possible there. would be spotty and not expecting any heavy rain. Rain forecast, still expecting that 2 to 4 inch band for the two-day total, um, and that's where we have that flooding risk, especially where we already got that heavy rain overnight, and uh, we've got that limited risk outside of that too. Again, rivers, creeks, if you live near those, that's where we have that concern concern for flooding. I just as a note that monthly average rain for March is over three and a half inches. So some spots can wind up getting most of that, if not all of that, in just the two day totals. 50 degrees today, that heavy rain starts to shift southeast. Temperatures tumble too. 42 overnight, some scattered showers. 56 tomorrow. An isolated shower if possible. It will be cool and cloudy throughout the day. A chance of showers on Thursday. Brief lull of dryness on Friday before more showers in time for the weekend. The clouds, man, the clouds just kill the temperatures. But Chris Christensen gets $400 to high beat. 200 to go shopping for your groceries at Hy-Vee. Congratulations. The high already occurred at midnight, uh, but you can still sign up at OzarksFirst.com slash daybreak.